I've had so many people on my case asking me to watch some show called Tiger King. Well, yesterday I watched this show, and oh my God, is America in this bad a shape? I watched about six episodes of this show, and I couldn't even believe what I was looking at. White people, what's with you and wild animals? Leave them animals alone. <laughs> the show is crazy, but it's so crazy you kind of keep watching. One thing I will say, there's not a shred of doubt in my mind that that lady's husband is uh, Tiger Shushimi right now. I'm just saying. <laughs> NerdErotic.com. He's a European European. Uh, his name is Az, and he's from Europe. Hi. Right. So she definitely fed her husband to the lion, right? <laughs> hey, yeah. Look, we're we're even, all in agreement with yeah, that. She yeah. totally killed her husband. She totally fed see? him to the lion. Even OJ is convinced she did it. <laughs> yeah. like, that's the greatest timeline ever. <laughs> even OJ. And he says it's so casual. Like, I used to think OJ wasn't self-aware. OJ's the most self-aware person on the planet. Like, the fact that he's making accusations about Carol and the fact, definitive statements that she definitely fed her husband to the tigers. And I'm like, he's an expert on it. He should know. <laughs> There's, I mean, as much as there's not a lot of, uh, you know, news to talk about in the in, in a lot of circles, the comic industry is just giving us uh, amazing, amazing stories uh, of their destruction. My goodness, it is unbelievable. We got Dana Schwartz uh, hating men on a daily basis. Is are those pictures of her real? Those like slutty pictures that that are going around. Have you guys seen that where she's like, yeah, it looks it. It looks it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, memeology po tweeted it out earlier. Uh, I was going to, I was going to talk about it, but I wanted to confirm if that was her, but apparently that's her. It's hilarious. There we go. <laughs> Every straight relationship. Wow. She thinks she's uh, being so edgy, doesn't she? It's got 203,000 likes. Yeah. Oh, we got I Yellow Flash me says, me. ah, the old men in trash tweet. Well done. Very original and creative. Drunk 3PO, hail drunk 3PO. And of course, I said, they look happier than you. <laughs> Um, Drunk and... Creepio is in every Twitter thread ever made. Yep, <laughs> but it's actually a compliment because you got this guy in a garbage can and he's with a fit girl, <laughs> so he's like he's winning. This guy is winning life right now. <laughs> this is a if you don't know, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's a writer for a Disney Marvel uh, TV show, uh, She Hulk. One of my uh, one of my favorite characters because of John Burns' run. Yeah, so there's the woman who's uh, anti-man, and she claims that comic characters can't be written sexually, but that <laughs> we got this right here. So there you go. Dana Schwartz, everybody. Yep. <sighs> she has hey, she has every, every right to her, uh, whoops, every right to her opinion. Well, it's not about why, her. I don't know why she got so dressed up to make me a sandwich, but... <laughs> <laughs> Man of garbage. That's the advantage of blocking basically everyone who disagrees with you on Twitter mm. and social media. It's like yep. you just get positive reinforcement of everything you do, so you can just mm -hmm. carry on doing whatever you want. <laughs> Don't have to yep. worry about consequences or feedback. And for an industry that prides itself on diversity, it's funny that the one diversity element, which is the most important, which is diversity of thought, is suddenly cast away. So it's just an echo chamber saying the same fucking shit back over and over and over to him. Yeah, it allows you to conveniently dismiss any argument with like a one word answer without yeah, actually right. engaging with any people <laughs> criticisms or anything like that. Yeah, and, right. th and they go straight to extreme words like Nazi, white supremacist, blah, 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 because they think those words are going to be so scary that the average person would just immediately back down. Oh, I don't want to be thought of as this or that. But in essence, all they've done is devalue the word completely and they just literally sound like children shouting insults in a school playground because they want you to shut up to try and get teacher to come over and get you in trouble they're absolute infantile pricks yeah I well now it's nice. it's not a case of like you've got you've got bad ideas or you've got a bad position it's you're a bad person mm. the See. beauty of fandoms is it brought completely different people from completely different walks of life to celebrate the thing whether it be Star Wars, Star Trek, whatever it was. And we all celebrated it together. And then these people have come along and they've just smashed it. They've just created huge divisions 
So in a, be a franchise, beautifully bringing everyone together, every walk of life, color, creed, race, whatever it may be, to celebrate it, they smash it through, they divide, they cut segments of the base, they is, they ism, they phobe, and they've done exactly anti-fandom. They are anti-fandom. They have ruined these fandoms. They've divided them. They've destroyed them. They've devalued them. They are literally worthless to a degree because now they get angry and they get ratty and they scream and shout because we're not going to sell it. We're not going to, oh, you're, you're rejecting our 68,000 whammon of fucking half-shaved heads running around with sticks that glow. How dare you, you toxic masculine. It, oh, blah, blah, blah. And they, it's just getting pathetic now. I mean, I don't know who cashes checks, right? But somebody's got to wake the fuck up and say, do you know something? I'd like to make some money. So uh, you, 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 and you, get a fuck out. And can we get some people in here that actually want to make us some money by bringing people back together again? And I don't know when that's going to be, but right it, now I think we're in the thick of it. I think it will get to that point. You know, look at how many of these high-profile movies have failed in 2019. Star Wars is down the pan. Mm -hmm. Star Trek's away. Uh, Terminator Dark Fate failed. Uh, Charlie's Angels failed. Like, all these movies that, they, that try to push this stuff are failing. There's only so long that studios can absorb that kind of loss. I was going to title this video. I, I, I don't know why I didn't but it was going to be something like the end is the uh or the nerd time is over fandom's time is over genre is over it's done uh and it makes me think back to i was watching uh, uh bruce campbell do a q a for evil dead i've told this story before but it, it, this is the one thing i took away from it and it wasn't about evil dead somebody asked him about superhero films and he said first thing he said was the second hollywood producers have an out on this they will take it it's too expensive it stresses them out. They hate it. They hate the green street, uh, it, it, how expensive these films are. Uh, and yeah, there's, you know, they make a lot of money, but listen, uh, Disney just ended the Skywalker saga and Endgame last year. They have money problems. And that is a couple of weeks into this thing, a couple of weeks, and they have money problems and they had it before. You know, you guys know for me, the last straw was Doctor Who. You know, I saw it coming on. I was kind of pissed about it, but I didn't think it would get that bad. And then when they did Doctor Who the way they did, and this was when they made uh, the Doctor female, I've lost my shit. And I was called sexist. I'm called sexist to this day because I want one fictional character to remain a dude. But I You're still... You're sexy, dude. You're sexy. Yeah, oh, thank you. Thank you. Not sexy. Oh. Sexy. <laughs> If you like what I do here, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking and sharing the videos. It really does help. And if you did this with your favorite YouTuber as well, I'm sure they would appreciate it as much as I do.